Okay. Uh, also, it can only be about three minutes. Okay, I'll cut so, you off when... Okay, thank you. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Good evening. My name is Heath Kirkendall, and I'm so happy to be here to talk to you tonight about a very interesting cultural phenomenon, one of the least studied phenomenon, I believe, in the world, and that is... Ghosts. and most specifically how they're portrayed in media. Now, as most of you know, ghosts are used both in horror films, those fun characters. And what I want to talk tonight is about how that's all really, really wrong, mainly because ghosts are terrifying uh, and awful, and the fact that our media is trying to portray them as anything but that is uh, uh, just, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so what, what, what is a ghost? Um, a ghost is a spirit of a dead person that either has not moved on to the afterlife or has returned from it. Um, that's according to How Stuff Works and they're affiliated with uh, Discovery Channel, which does like Bear Grylls and all that, so pretty, pre uh, pretty trustworthy. Um, uh, spirits, by the way, aren't ghosts because spirits are kind of cool and they're like the spirit guide sort of thing or like they show up in like Lord of the Rings and they help you out. They're not they're not ghosts. Ghosts are ghosts are generally like really vengeful and mean because they're they're trapped to this life. Um, so that's really bad. Uh, ghosts are not fun. Ghosts are not good people. You should not be friendly with ghosts mainly because they want to steal your soul and throw it into the dark damned pits of hell below. Um, so I want to talk about then how ghosts are shown and how, uh, how wrong we always get it. So first up, uh, the big culprit in the room, of course, is uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. And you'll notice I put uh, friendly in italics. That's mainly because uh, it's a lie. Uh, ghosts are not friendly at all in any sort of way. The fact that they added that in is just marketing and propaganda that is trying to say that's not correct in any way. Uh, Casper originally came out in like, I think the 1930s, which already, wow, that's pretty old. He's already dead, you know, and he's still around. He's, he died a second death to some degree. <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing about Casper is he shows up in a feature length film at some point where he was the very first ghost that was ever uh, CGI'd onto the screen. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you they couldn't get a real person to play that ghost because everyone knew that they were going to be playing a fun ghost, not a real ghost. Not, not a ghost that really showed what, it, what, what how just terrifying ghosts actually are. Um, if you look at this picture, you'll notice he has, a, he has a large head and large eyes and a big smile, which are all things that make us, as people, really excited and happy. This is bad because ghosts don't do that. Ghosts scream at you and have banshee eyes. Um, so even more so than that, they made a TV show, like a cartoon, and look at that, this is Casper's Scare School. He's, he's at school with all these other monsters. Now, do you notice something here? Casper is a friendly ghost, right? But all these other monsters are also friendly. These horrible, terrifying things are all friendly. You see what's being done here. People are trying to say that uh, our, 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 our kids are okay with ghosts and monsters. That's not okay. That's like if you go up to a kid and you're like, Hey man, do you want to try try alcohol? And he's like, oh, I don't know, man. And then he and then he does it. You know, that's what you're doing to this kid. You know, man, it's, it's, pr it's pretty messed up. So I want to talk about some good examples actually of ghosts. Um, the first is in Poltergeist because Poltergeist is terrifying, and I wet the bed when I saw it. Um, and uh, that's why I can't watch it anymore. Um, I'm sorry, mom. Um, there's also the the Baba Duke. That was a movie. That was a really fun movie. That was really, really scary. Um, yeah, he, he's got like big bad eyes and see like that's a good portrayal of a ghost because he actually looks scary, you know? And he's trying to like steal the soul of a child. Not be friends with him like Casper would, you know? It's, it's a conspiracy thing, you know? <laughs> and then there was that time that Tim Curry was this clown. I mean, clowns are scary in their own right, but he was like a ghost clown basically. I mean, he wasn't really, he was more like an alien ghost, but it, like, he was basically a ghost. Basically in the con, it's Stephen King. It's always ghosts, okay? It's, it's always ghosts. Sometimes rats, but it's also it's always ghosts. Um, but yeah, so you might be wondering like, what can we do to make people, like make sure people still think ghosts are, are, are scary? Um, it's really simple. It's really simple. Watch Ghost Adventures all new every Saturday at 9, 8 Central Standard Time, only on Travel Channel. Travel moves you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, go watch those guys. They're, pr they're pretty cool. 
I'm Heath Kirkendall. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of part of this TED Talk. Yeah.